God has given to each of us his or her allotment of time as we dwell here on earth for which we are the manager, for which God expects us to make the most out of our time. He does not approve of those who waste time or who kill time. Remember, make time to love, make time to work, make time to rest, time to play, a time for reflection on what you have been doing with your life. And by all means, the most important, a time each day, set aside for prayer and worship of the Almighty God, who is the giver of all things. I'm not going to cry, but my eyes are really teary right now. <laughs> There's more to the letter, and I, I just can't read it. I'll just be honest with you. You can only spend your life once. Time is, is a precious, precious commodity. It's actually the most valuable commodity because we have so little of it. We need to take our time. We need to figure it out. We need to say, I have approximately this much time to live. What am I going to do with it? An 80-year life can be broken down this way. 26.5 years of your life will be sleeping. 16 and a half years of your life will be spent in front of a television. You'll spend 10 and a half years of your life working. You'll eat for three and a half years of your life. What are you going to do with your time that's left over? Because as soon as you start taking all these things out, you're not left with much time for yourself. For all flesh is as grass, and all the glory of man is the flower of grass. The grass withereth, and the flower thereof falleth away. And many of us, we look around, we say, I can't believe I'm 20. I can't believe I'm 50. I can't believe I'm 70. And you know what? You can look back and you can say, it seemed like just the other day. Before long, all the time is gone. I need to spend time getting the kids right. I need to spend time preparing the house. I need to spend time doing this. Before long, you're going to say, that's 25 hours. This doesn't work. And you're left with no time for God. Time must be managed. In Ephesians chapter 5, it says this, So then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Redeeming the time. This just simply means to buy it up. It means to, to use your time wisely. Why do we redeem the time? Because the days are evil. Because the days are evil. Wickedness is ever-present in the world in which we live. And we are constantly being bombarded and tempted with things that waste time. Time is of the essence. Use your time wisely, because one day there won't be any more time left. And constantly, constantly we have these things that, that, that that's take our time, don't they? They're time wasters. I'm always looking for what's next. I don't want to just sit around idly by. I want to do something. If I'm not going to do something, I want, I want what I'm doing to have purpose. We need to command our time rather than have it command us. We need to master our time. We shouldn't be a slave to it. It should be a slave to us. How do you best allocate your time? Here's a good way to start. In 1 Peter 2.9, it says this, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you from darkness into his marvelous light. That you should show forth the praises of him. That you should show forth the praises of him, God, who hath called you from darkness into his marvelous light. Now that's wonderful. What should we do with our time? Should we be wasting it? Should we be killing it? Should we be abandoning it? Should we be trying to find free time? Or should we be spending our time on whatever can glorify God? That we should show forth the praises of Him. That's what we need to be doing. Showing other people the praises of God. Who hath called us from darkness, our spiritual unregenerate self, to our new nature, who hath called us from this darkness into light. You know that our primary goal, if you would boil it down and make it simple, what do you do with your time? You should be praising God.